Hey folks, Dan for another rate update. Today is September 10th, 2021. I'm going to go over where the inflation index came in. And like I said, it's it, it could be up or down uh, based on the number. I knew the number would come in hot, but how did that affect mortgage rates today? So don't go away. We'll go over that next. So the headline news for inflation numbers. This is our August read on the producer price index. We're expecting a number on headline up six tenths. It's up seven tenths. And do remember the high for this metric was up 1.2. That was in January. If you strip out the all important food and energy, it's up six tenths. And that's down from up 1%, which was the high water mark for history last month. And if you look at the X food and energy and trade up three tenths half of what we expected, one third of the rear view mirror, and the rear view mirror was up nine tenths. The historic high was in January up one percent. Now let's take a look at year over year numbers. These are always interesting. Final demand year over year up eight point three percent, up eight point three. That is a new high for this series. The old high was last month up 7.8. If you strip out food and energy, so core year over year, it's up 6.7. Another all-time historic high. In the rear view mirror, 6.2 was the previous high. And finally, if we take X food, energy, and trade year over year, it's up 6.3%. Also blows history away. The previous month at 6.1 was the high. Now remember, the highs I'm referring to in all three of those year over year, which are historic, only go back about a decade plus because we recalibrated how we calculate the producer price index. So that is the asterisk there. If you look at yields, they're hovering right around 132 and tens, unchanged for the week, uh, up just a smidge for the day. But do remember the most important part, most uh, technicians are paying attention to is where the markets have stopped right around 1.37 to 1.39 still represents very strong yield resistance and Becky if we look at what's going on with regard to post DCB meeting uh, definitely the hawkish expectations were not met uh, kicking the can down the road I've heard you use a lot of metaphors you and Joe this morning and I think we could add a few more to that list back to you hey, hey Rick just the the producer prices really strong numbers strong inflation that this is indicating maybe not a huge surprise and maybe that's why we're not seeing much of a reaction in the markets yeah I think uh, I think the markets are prepared for inflation to remain sticky okay so that was a lot of information let me condense it down inflation's running hot as all get out we know it okay I'm, I'm having a debate online right now with somebody on YouTube about you know, prices are going up and it's going to, they're there to stay and whatever. There's normal inflation at two, 3% that goes usually every year. But some of the jumps in some of these areas are, are way out of, way out of line, like used car prices. Why? Because of the chip shortage, lumber prices, and, the, and a lot of other things. But I get it. In general, everything's going up. Wages are going up and everything else. That's a healthy economy normally. Okay, we, we don't have a healthy economy. We have a flush of money right now in the system based on a lot of things that, like I said, the forbearance, the student loan deferrals and all this other stuff. So there's a lot of people that made more money last year than they ever did based on benefits and everything else. So if you're not in that situation, God bless you. I, I wish you the best. But unfortunately, there are a lot of people in very good positions. So I said yesterday, well, I said it this morning. I apologize. I thought my video uploaded last night, but it didn't. So this morning's video was from last night, but uh, let's get to where the the, the where the, the numbers came in and how that affected mortgage rates. So here's the headline numbers. You know, I knew they were going to be hot and they hit an all-time high, as Rick Santelli said, but how did that have come through to the MBS market? The MBS market reacted not as bad, but we only had one day so far. So look last time when we had some numbers come in when the market started fearing things. And it was basically right in this area here, okay? And then we had a complete turnaround. And this area here was, the biggest concern was the Fed, the Fed Reserve is going to start tapering. And the, they didn't, and they came out and, and basically went all over the place and said, we're, guys, we're not going to taper because we want full employment. We want the employment numbers. We're to see employment numbers at a million uh, people employed per month for at least three to four years Three, I'm sorry, three to four months. So we get a nice cycle of that and we see sustainability in that market. Okay, so we today, 
again, the inflation numbers crept their head in and we had an, a pullback. Is that is it you know there and it's going is it going to crash? I don't think so. Here's why. We hit we hit this number right here. Look at these look at this line right here. Okay, so let me start talking some technicals with you guys. If you're a realtor, a mortgage person, you know, you, you, you probably get this, especially if you follow my channel. If you're a consumer, you get this because you follow my channel. But let's talk to some newbies out there. What are we focusing in on right now? When we're when you're working with us on a mortgage, what we don't do is we don't take your application today and have you apply online and then all of a sudden just shove you into a loan and sh lock you in and everything. We want to be your mortgage advisor, okay? So we want to make sure you're in the right program you're in the right, you know, you're taken care of. We push you through as, as expedient, you know, as fast as we can. And you're you're informed on the way things are going. You can use your mobile app to do that. So you'll get <clears throat> milestones along the way as we're working on your loan. One of the things we pride ourselves on is monitoring the market. So if you're watching, you're, you're working with a stockbroker and you're like, hey, I really like Google stock. And they just jump in and buy it for you and didn't really even do much research on it that you just said you liked it and you, you, you know, you liked it at today's prices, they bought it for you. But did you know, or did, were you paying attention to its, you know, what the trends are? If Google stock is going down and down and down and down, why would you buy it until, you know, until you saw a reversal? So that's what we're working, you know, we do. We actually watch this for you. If you're like, hey, I like these rates or, you know, the rate's a little bit eh, kind of where we want it to be, but, you know, can you do better? We're going to watch that for you and we're not going to lock you. We're going to watch you go down and down and down and lock you at the most optimum time. That's why we follow this and that's why I'm trying to basically show you guys. This is just one of the things that we offer you guys. Most mortgage companies are just going to get your application, lock in and move on. Okay, that's not what we're doing here. So we, we're trying to educate you is also to show you guys what we're doing behind the scenes. So here's the trends that we're looking at right now. If you look at this chart, it might seem like a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but there's a lot of data in here. You got lines going across here. These are Fibonacci levels. If you're a chartist or you, you monitor things like this, you, you know what I'm talking about. Basically, these are, these are barriers that we, we hit in. And I explained that in this morning's video. But there's other lines, there's these all these wiggly lines right here that I'm following um, for you guys. So the nice thing is we hit a technical level right here and we stopped, okay? That's validating um, this squiggly line right here, which is the 25-day moving average. That's saying this 25-day moving average is holding. So I'm seeing that we're going to trade in a pattern right between here. So my expectations are, Rates aren't really going to move that much unless there's some catastrophic things that happen. Today's news, as you just, you just noticed, the the producer price index is is hot and it's hotter than every anybody even expected. As you can go to here, here's our our uh, uh, economic calendar. Producer price index month over month was expected to, to be up 0.6. It was up 0.7. Okay, the last month was one. So we're okay. Let's look at this we're starting to come back down a little bit in that area month after month. X food and energy, we were at 0 0.1, now we're at 0.6, there was expectations of 0.5, not good. Okay, now we're looking at year over year. X food and energy, we were previously at 6.2, now we're at 6.7, okay? And then year over year completely, we were at 7.8 last month, we were, the consensus was 8.2, we're at 8.3. Okay, so every number other than the one right here is hotter than expected, all right? So, but is the Federal Reserve really gonna do anything? You know, no, they're gonna watch for the full employment. And that's what we've been pre preaching and I've been posting all the, all the information that they're coming out with. The Federal Reserve is in place for two things. And I, I know I repeat myself. They're, 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 what their mandates are, where they were constructed was to keep inflation in check and help the economy at full employment. You're never gonna have 100% employment, but they're really working on those things. They basically said, yes, we know we know everything's hot right now in the inflation uh, sphere because there's a lot of things there. There's labor shortages, there's chip shortages, there's logistic issues, and there's a whole bunch of other things. Once people get back to work, truckers are back in work, you know, labor's back in full force and everything else, things will start coming back to normal, a little bit more normal. Is it going to be? Is there going to be prices higher than where they were last year? Yeah, there normally always is. There's it was higher than the year before, and then higher than the year before. You know, think of a, a McDonald's hamburger ten years ago it was a quarter. Now it's 
$2. That's inflation, guys. Okay, so that's what I'm trying to explain there. Let's go on a little further. What happened during the day? Let's see if there was any blips in the radar that we, were, we should be concerned about. Well, the market opened and we deteriorated, okay, as everybody compiled this data. And then we went back and we, we gained some ground. The nice thing is we have a lot, if you look through this, the second part of the day, there's more buyers than sellers. That's a good indication to me that we're gonna come off of these low levels, okay? So let's see where rates are or where they, where they, what they did yesterday and where the rates, our rate sheets came in today. So I post this every day. These are the 30 year rates uh, issued by Black Knight. They serve survey mortgage lenders all over the country and issue rates. So this is just for you to kind of get a gauge on where rates are. So if you're at four and a half percent, call us. If you're at three and a half percent, call us. If you're at two and a half percent and want a 30 year fixed, don't call us because you can't get it unless you want to pay a ton of fees. I wouldn't suggest you do that, but if that's what you want to do, we'd love to talk to you. But the 30 year rates are right here and they are there indicated right here, conforming jumbo FHA and VA, okay? One day I might explain what these are just for those that don't know, all right? Then we have a one day, seven day, and four week delta. Delta means change. Basically, as I said in other videos, you're not gonna see really a rate change until this number gets to about 10 basis points, okay? Because one basis points in mathematical terms is 0 0.01. So if the rate on this jumbo is up uh, one basis point, that means yesterday this rate was 3.04. Now it's 3.05. Really nothing. I mean, it might, it might adjust your payment a dollar? Okay, so nothing. Seven uh, day delta, really nothing. Four week delta, nothing. Okay, so the stability is there. The Federal Reserve, what they've they've been trying to do is they've been trying to step in and actually do this, stabilize the market. I don't think their goal is to push it down to historic lows and it, you know, maybe it was and, and get more people into homes and, and make money cheaper. Um, I don't think they, they thought the mortgage rates would drop to historic, historic, historic lows, but it was needed, especially last year when the pandemic was going on, for people to refinance and help out with, with you know, maybe lowering their payments and so forth. And But it did have a, an effect on people now buying houses. I am working diligently on the video to show you if you're renting, how much that how much you're paying in rent, how much you can afford with that. And I'm going to try to combine that video into one. I know I'm teasing you guys with that. I'm going to say, okay, if you're renting in California and your payments, your rent payment's two grand, how much can that buy you in a house? And then what we're trying to do is we're trying to get some widgets so you can actually scan your area where you live to find that house. We're working way behind, uh, diligently behind the scenes to help you guys. So you're a one-stop shop on my website. So I hope you like my video. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe down below. Hope you find value in this. Um, but how do you find out more about me and my team, how we can help you? Also, what I want to do is reach out. I had several people, realtors email me saying, Dan, I like your, the program you're coming up with. How do I get involved? I apologize. I didn't get back to some of you. I promise you I will over the weekend. And maybe we can do a Zoom meeting or something uh, Monday or Tuesday uh, to look for that. Because what I want to do is I want you to be, when you're on the site and you, you find out, okay, I can afford a $200,000 house. We can push you off and you can look at some homes, but if you need help finding a realtor, we can link you up with a realtor we're partnered with so you can reach out to them. We can pre-approve you. They can find you a house and then we can get you an attorney as well to put this whole package together for you. So we want we can be a one-stop shop for you guys. So how do you find out more about me and my team? Well, the best way to do that is go to therateupdate.com. And here it is. It gives you everything you need to know about us gives you all kind of information about programs that we offer. It also has a phone number, a schedule a meeting and apply now. Here's what I would like you to do. You can do any one of these you want, but don't apply now. We would love to talk to you to answer all the questions you have. You should have questions. Hey Dan, what's your rate? What's your fees? How long is it gonna take? Do I need an appraisal? Does this make sense? Yada, 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 all that stuff. So two ways to do this. Give us a call, 844-775-LOAN. What most people are doing right now is they're going right here, scheduling a meeting. It'll give you a calendar with all the days and times we have available. Click the day and time you want that'll fit your schedule. And then let us know, do you want us to call you or do a Zoom call? I love doing Zoom calls. I like meeting you guys. And uh, so we can do one-on-one face-to-face. -on -one -face. I had uh, one or two yesterday. One of those, I apologize, I had audio problems. I do this every day and I don't know why I did, but the young man was uh, kind enough to let me call him and we were watching each other, but we were on the phone talking and I went over uh, everything and all the questions that he had. And it was about a half hour and it was a very good conversation. He had great input and I hope he learned a lot. So that's why we're here guys and that's why I post the video. 
So all I ask you to do is please give us a thumbs up. If you like what we're doing, you know, reach out to us, give us a call. But most of all, have a great weekend. Uh, take care, enjoy life, and we'll see you Monday.